Chris Ace. What's going on? How's your twin doing, by the way? Crossa? I, you know, I haven't met her yet. Chris Acrossa? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, maybe. If I cross the ankles. <laughs> maybe I read something wrong there. <laughs> What is one thing that people don't know about you? One thing that people don't know about me. I think the misconception about me is that I'm tall. Comes up to me and they're like, oh, I don't even think they say hi first. <laughs> they come up like, I thought you were going to be much taller. I'm like, so did I. I'm still waiting for my growth spurt. How do you think that makes me feel yeah. right now? I'm 5'4". Do you think a lot of it is because you make mostly basketball content, they think you're taller? Yeah, I think, you know, sports is associated, like, you know, tall people and Height. things of that na nature. But people also say that on video, I look taller. But I think I think it's just because I play basketball. I don't know. I don't position the camera any type of way. Yeah, um, no secrets here. No no, no secrets. No Hollywood <laughs> secrets on the No, height. none whatsoever. It'd be nice if I, if I did. No, you know so. Tom Cruise is actually 3'8". No. It's, how Holly, it's Hollywood secret. No, that's definitely not Hollywood secret. Spending the weekend with you, you're a very funny person. Oh, I appreciate it. Sometimes. So I'm going to give Got you it. one minute to try to make me laugh, okay? One minute to try to one make me laugh? One minute to try to, and I'm going to put water in my mouth. And you're putting water in your mouth. Okay. Make sure you aim that way um, whenever, mm -hmm. you know, when you spit in. Hmm. Are you timing? I don't see a timer. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So should we wait now? So you didn't. So you're about to get fired? Is that the thing? Mm -hmm. We need to call somebody on you. Mm -hmm. Action. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm... I don't know. Oh, God. Now the pressure's on. Mm. Uh, knock, knock. I don't know. Cut. Break. Cut. <laughs> we should cut this. Oh, God. I don't know what to say. Do you spit or squirt? Okay. Um, was that inappropriate? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm called the only lesbian that knows the, how to play with balls. Okay, that wasn't fun either. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm <laughs> at least I got a smile. You could just swallow. You could just swallow. That's mm -hmm. what you do. You like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you do do that. Okay. Is it been a minute yet? Because I'm starting to sweat. Okay. Yep. Yep. I sucked. I usually do swallow though. <clears throat> and to the next question. <laughs> That was a good. That was a good joke. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your time with the Harlem Globetrotters. A lot of people, you know, you go to the shows and yep. you see it, but what are like the behind the scenes like? I mean, first off, the experience the experience was great. Uh, being able to travel everywhere, it was able to give me the platform that I have now. And I think people kind of just when they think of our practices, they don't really know what they are. So I think they're like, oh, is the trick shots real? Are they, you know, all these things? But we would literally just practice trick shots. For some, for half of our practice, or ball handling, or just the tricks in general, you know, for like half of our practice. And then, of course, you know, your plays and things yeah. of that nature. The, Take me through like a typical practice with the club trotters. It would be warming up, having a like a talk down, like all right, like this is where you know this is where we're playing at. You know, of course, you wanted to be entertaining. Yeah. Then we'll go over the plays. Then we'll literally. Just break, and then we'll start doing half court shots, full court shots, ball handling. Some of like us, like other ball handlers at the slide on the floor. We'll practice our slides. We'll practice like quick ball handling skills. Like it's literally kind of like a skills training camp. That's almost awesome. every practice. Yeah, that's crazy. That's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I'm not I a good ball lie. handler. Yeah, I, I saw. I, I kind of felt that way. You felt Look, it. Yeah, you felt it. I'm I, good. I, felt, I, 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 felt the, I was dunking before you came. Yeah, I didn't so see I that either. You must I don't have believe that. that. Yeah, I don't see that. So another very interesting thing about you is you were on a reality show. I was. You were on The Circle, yes. which is on Netflix, mm -hmm. which I applied for. I didn't get it. Maybe one day. But I mean, tell, tell me about being on reality TV on such a big platform like Netflix. It was awesome. I mean, I, it was really unexpected. The funny thing that about it is actually Kat was casted for it for the first season. Right. Um, this is when I was playing with the Globetrotters. And I was very much in just like that professional mode and mannerism, like when you come to interviews and such, right? Yeah. So it's like your personality is not fully there, but you're more just proper, right? And professional. Didn't get casted for it at all. Um, so then this season comes up, season four, and the guy that was that reached out to me via DM actually. Um, he slid in the DMs. He slid in the DMs, and I accepted. It's the first man ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, That's but, why you didn't open mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, well, I think yours is still in the requested. Probably never seen or ever will Spam. be seen. 
So so then he slid in the DMs and he was just like, bring your personality out there. So I brought it just me as a whole. And yeah, I got casted for it. it I would say being in there is boring because you're not able to like talk to anybody or listen to music or anything. But the experience, because you're like, you're like trying to, you know, entertain yourself because you're Juiced just up. there by, by yourself. Just, you know, yeah. yeah. So you're trying to. Wonder when you're gonna speak to somebody, you know. But it was a great experience, though. So how'd you keep yourself like entertained? And you couldn't, you couldn't be on your phone. You I couldn't, couldn't watch TV. No, couldn't no, listen to music. No. Nope. What did you do? I played puzzles. I did puzzles. I worked out as much as I could. I, I didn't read because that would have put me to sleep. I have no clue what I would do. Uh, yeah, I, I think I was, uh, I was dribbling some. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was kind of just like self reflection. It's a peak time for self reflection. I was kind of like, oh, when am I going to be able to talk to somebody? You know what I mean? So. Yeah, it was just over and over kind of that, to be honest. That yeah. sounds really interesting. What do you think you would do on the circle if you were to be chosen? I think I would catfish. Really? Yeah, I, 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 I would catfish. Oh, so you guys, he's fake. I would have a whole backstory. Got I, would, it. I wanted mm-hmm. to be like a just graduated like girl from college. Oh. Moved to New York, okay. big city. Uh-huh. Um, trying to find my way, you know, accounting major, but mm-hmm. like, you know, working at the big four, but not sure if I like it. And then, you know, from that experience, you know, I just, my inner self is a recent college grad girl. But, oh. you know, I think I could sell it. I think I could really sell it. Yeah? If I had a comment like, I don't know, if there was a guy that was, like, trying to, like, hit on you, how do you think you would handle that? You got to play it out. You got to, like, you know, the, the blushing emoji, like, <laughs> stop that exclamation point. You're, you're too much. And then a little ha-ha-ha. He really ha. thought this through, no, guys. No, I, I thought all of this. I <laughs> thought all of this. And you just need a basic name. It's like Amanda McAllister, something like that. So, Oh, just something like that. You, exactly. you, you already had the whole... We had it ready. You had it all. How has your stay at the wind been so far? How is it? Let me... Uh, freaking amazing. First off, my view is absolutely amazing. Unreal. Um, Being able to... How the freaking curtains open and close. Oh, yeah. Have you had Alexa open them? N- I didn't know that. I didn't know when that you get back thing. to your room, try it. I just press the thing and it opens. It's it, and are you? Do you have the view of the mountains or the strip? The strip. The strip is fire though. But I no, it's like part strip, part mountains. I see. Wow. I see both. I see both. So it's been absolutely amazing. The food has been amazing. I just saw the awakening. How was that? Amazing. The the it was so trippy. So I I didn't know it was gonna be like magic like that. And the amount of lights that was like, and then how I don't want to spoil too much. Things would just appear, and I was like, how the freak did you get there? <laughs> And um yeah, and I wanted to videotape, but I couldn't. But it's okay because I understand you don't want to spoil it for everybody. But it was it was awesome. I'm it was excited. awesome. I'm excited. When's the next time you're coming back to Vegas? Um, I would I would love to actually stay here. I don't want to leave. Summer, <clears throat> you gonna be here? I, if I can, I'd love to. I better see you at the win. I there's or no the other encore. place. Or the encore. Win and encore. I think I'm actually staying on the encore side. There we so, go. Yeah. There we go, Chris. Thank you so much for coming on. No, thank you for having me.